What's up guys, Andrew Bain here, and on today's video we are going to be doing 12 guitar riffs on 12 different guitars. I have a lot of guitars in my collection and I don't get the opportunity to use all of them as much as I would like, so today I'm going to show them all some love, you guys are going to see all the stuff I have in my collection, and you're going to get to hear how each one sounds. With that being said, the first guitar in my collection is a Solar Guitars A2.6. This is tuned to drop D, and I'm going to be playing a riff from the song titled Sassafras by The Devil Wears Prada. Here's how it sounds. Next up, I'm going to be playing my Fast Guitars Orion 7-string. This is a 7-string guitar, tuned to drop A. It's got a 26 and a half inch scale length and Seymour Duncan Alpha Omega pickups. Here's how it sounds. Next up is my Fast Guitars Roamer 8-string. This is the first Fast Guitars I ever got at my first custom guitar. It is an 8-string guitar tuned to drop E, 27-inch scale length on the bottom, 25 and a half on the top, multi-scale. It's got bare knuckle cold sweat pickups, and this is a clip of a song called Busey by Hacktivist. Next up we have my Solar Guitars A1.8. This is another 8 string guitar tuned to drop E. This one is 27 inch scale length, straight scale, not fan fret, but it does have the Evertune, which means it basically never goes out of tune. I'm going to be playing a riff from one of my original songs, which is titled Bury the Hatchet. It's not out yet, but it will be coming out soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this riff. This is how it sounds. Next up we have another 8 string guitar, this one is my Ibanez RG852. It was originally black, I had it refinished to neon green as a tribute to one of my favorite guitarists of all time, Justin Lowe from After the Burial. This guitar is tuned to F standard, it is also straight 27 inch scale length and it has the Seymour Duncan blackout pickups. This is how it sounds. Next up in my collection is one of my weirdest ones. This is an Agile AL3010, which is a fan fret guitar. It's 25 inches to 27 inches, which is quite an extreme fan. Everything on it is completely stock, but I did tune it all the way down to drop G sharp, cause why not? I'm gonna be playing a clip of a song called The Columbian Faction by Volumes, and this is how this guitar sounds. Next up I have a heavily modified LTD SCT607B, which is of course Deftones guitarist Stefan Carpenter's signature model. This is a 7 string guitar, but it's a 27 inch scale length, so I tuned it all the way down to drop F. It has a single Seymour Duncan Nazgul pickup in the bridge. I'm going to be playing a clip of a song called Bitter Pill by a band called the Acacia Strain, and this is how it sounds.
Next up is my Fast Guitars Roamer 6 string. This is a 25 and a half inch scale 6 string guitar tuned to drop C. It's got the DiMarzio Titan pickups, which are Jake Bowen from Periphery's signature pickups. I'm going to be playing a clip of a song called Brace Legs by a band called Born of Osiris. This is how this guitar sounds. Next up I got another six string. This is a Balaguer archetype. It's a Swamp Ash body, 25 and a half inch scale six string guitar. It has Balaguer's own pickups in it. I have it tuned to drop B. I'm gonna be playing a riff from a song called Namaste by a band called Veil vale of Maya. Here we go. Next up, I have the Solar Guitars A 2.7. It's a seven string guitar, also tuned to drop A, also 26 and a half inch straight scale. This was the first Solar Guitar I ever got, so shout out to Ola England for making some great products. I'm gonna be playing a riff from a song called Pure Strain of Hate by a band called Thy Art Is Murder. This is how this guitar sounds. Next up is the last Fast Guitars guitar in my collection. This is my Orion 9 string guitar. It has EMG 909X pickups, a 30 inch scale on the bottom, 28 inch on the top, multi-scale design. It has the Fast own custom bridge as well. I've never seen a guitar with a white bridge before, so I thought that was really cool. It also has my initials on the 12th fret. I'm gonna be playing a song called Pennyweight by a band called After the Burial. This song is in C sharp standard. This is how it sounds. And last but not least is the Agile 10 string guitar. This is a monster of an instrument. It is 28 inches on the high E string, 30 inches on the low G sharp string. So it's very, very low. I've had this guitar for about a year. Uh, it was given to me by someone named Kevin from the channel said too much. Go check out his channel for sure. He gave me this guitar to try out and uh, it's been a year and I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it so I'm just gonna play a sugar riff tuned down because I have not come up with any original content on this guitar and I don't know how to play it to be honest with you so yeah this is a song called Demurge by a band called Mashuga. here's how it sounds in G sharp guys so there you have it 12 guitar riffs 12 guitars hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about any of the guitars i used feel free to drop a comment below and i will try to answer them if you haven't hit that subscribe button already please be sure to do so it helps me out a lot and i do a video about three or four times a week so be sure not to miss them i want to give a big shout out to my patreon supporters that are shown on the screen at this point in time this wouldn't be possible without you and i truly truly appreciate the support if you're interested in becoming a patreon member you can get links to the audio downloads as well as the stems as as well as a shout out on the screen. If any of that interests you, go check out my Patreon. It is linked in the description below. That's pretty much all I have to say. Once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to reading your comments as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.